What, so what, now what? What, so what, now what is a liberating structure that's really great for retrospectives. You're basically walking up the ladder of inference, first starting with observations, then doing some synthesis or sense making, saying, what does that mean? And then finally, what are we going to do about it? It's really great for preventing people from jumping straight into solutions and actions and, and kind of doing a little bit of thinking and discussion before we get there. So let's take a look. We're going to start off with the demo meeting and we're going to click on add new to put in a new activity and we're going to select what, so what, now what. And you can notice here that there is a name, a prompt and a value and name can be anything you want. Some people like to say um, W3 or WWW, <laughs> um, especially if you have multiple, you know, you might, you might name it WWW on the, the conference, you know, and then you have another one on something else. So it's, the, the name can be handy for referencing. The prompt should be really specific to your participants and what you are retro, retroing so that they can be really clear on what they're responding to and not get confused. So we have the default in there just for um, getting started and helping you understand, but you always customize it for your participants. And then we can say, how many do we want per category? So how many observations, how many what's, how many um, synthesis, so how many um, so what's, and then how many action items, how many now what's. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this activity. Another thing I wanna point out to you is that if you click on um, settings, you will see some grayed out values. And these are note and categorized values. What, so what, now what is a note and categorized derivative. And if you wanted to recreate note, and, um, sorry, if you wanted to recreate what, so what, now what, but change some of these values, you would go to note and categorize and basically recreate it. And um, note and categorize is a premium feature. So um, if you're using the free version, you'll have to use the, the, um, these kind of defaulted values. So um, it's serial, meaning that they're going to fill out what, and then they're going to fill out um, so what, and then they're going to fill out now what, one at a time. Um, show previous category is not enabled, meaning when they're, when they're filling out their what's, their, um, their so what's, they won't see their what's. Um, round robin share is on, meaning that when they're, when they're done, they're going to go out, they're going to go around and share, share them out. Um, and again, and the categories are what, so what, now what? I'm going to cancel this and we're going to go into the activity. I'll send it into the participants so that they will see this. I'll copy the participant link and then open that in a browser here. And again, it, it's serial. So what did we notice? We noticed, um, Lots of conversation. Save. Okay, cool. And so that's maybe the one I want to share out. And um, I'm just going to do this with one participant. I've got two browsers open, but just to make this video snappy, um, you'll see here that um, that your um, we have one user that's categorized and one that hasn't. And so we got some feedback as a facilitator and we can ask that other participant, Hey, do you need some help? Um, notice you haven't categorized it's a little feedback mechanism so you can uh, help you facilitate there. So we're going to move to the next category and you'll see that we've advanced to so what? And so people are engaging. So what? It means people um, liked um, people, um, the activities worked. Cool. Um, let's move that up. And then, um, then we'll say, now what? We'll go ahead and move on. We see one of two. That's what we would expect. We move on to now what? And now what? We'll say, um, let's use these activities in the next workshop. Okay, excellent. And we'll move that up. And, you know, according to this, we can... Um, uh, we can drag up to three, but in, in this um, snappy video, we'll just leave it to one. And then, of course, we're going to review our results. And it is round robin, so we're, we're first reviewing Douglas. And you notice my other one, um, user didn't submit any, so it's kind of excluding them from the round robin, so it's saying finish already. Um, and this just gives Douglas a chance to share out what he noticed, what that meant to him, and then what he's going to do next. 
Um, and now we're going to finish. And when we do, we'll see everyone's inputs. We've got a download button where we can download via CSV. We've got a print button where we can print. We've also underneath ellipses, we have copy results. So if we want to paste that into a mural or something, and we can send our results to a live scribe session. All right, excellent. Well, that is what, so what, now what, and thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.